Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Hi, teacher. Yes, I can hear you. Hello, You're can you, okay. Can you see me now? I can hear you, yeah. but, but away. You, you can hear me, but away. Is that what you said? Hello? Can you guys hear me or no? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. 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 Good. 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 Hello. Good evening. How are you guys? Doing good so far. Excellent. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Um, how was your your Thursday your Thursday job? Was it a was it a, a good day at work? Yeah, it was for me it was a good day at work, but a kind of busy. Yeah. Busy. Kind of busy. Uh -huh, yeah, kind of busy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But that's but that's good, right? Yes. Busy is good. Yeah. That's good because you don't uh, you don't try to uh to wait so long yeah time goes fast mm -hmm. yeah uh -huh. yeah yeah I I I I understand <laughs> yeah it's true uh, when you have lots of things to do it goes by really really quickly and then it's like oh it's time to go home. All right, so that's that's something favorable, yeah. But as long as you don't get too stressed, that's important. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Uh, let me see, William. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm good. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. How was your Thursday? Um. Mm. It was good. Busy. Yeah. Busy, busy day. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Also a busy day. But you like busy yeah. days. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. Excellent. All right. Anything interesting happened today or just a regular day at work? <laughs> just some problems with my coworkers. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> It's okay. a typical. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. All right. A typical day at work. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Well, um, I hope you were able to solve those problems with your coworkers. Um, yeah. Um, hello, Eliana. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm okay. great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. good. I'm glad to hear that. That that sounds that sounds perfect. Uh, what what makes things so great? Mm -hmm. Well, it was a kind of regular day at mm -hmm. my work, but I think that that was great. I think that maybe it's my my mood of today. <laughs> I woke up just fine, and and I don't know. That's like a really nice day. Hmm. Okay. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Um, all right, very, very good. Um, it's always great to wake up with a good mood. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think um, uh, yeah, that that um, starts off the day perfectly. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 excellent. All right. Hey, I can't see the rest of you guys. Uh, I can't see Jose Wilfredo, Heidi, Jose Marcos, um, Fernando Marvin, Harbin. Are you guys there? Okay. 
All right, excellent. Hello, Jose Wilfredo. How was your day? Hello, teacher. Uh, really good, teacher. Really good. Yeah. Okay. I had uh, the camera off, but because I was connecting my my computer, because uh -huh. it had no battery. Mm, but, okay. You know, okay. I, I already connect. Everything is okay. But now? my day was really good. Well, mm -hmm. my day is going. Oh, good. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yes. Yeah, you speak, you start your day very early. Yep, that's right, teacher. Mm -hmm. But I like it. I like it because um the time pass uh really uh, pass like rushing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's really good. Good, 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 good. Excellent. Good to hear yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Because when you don't have anything to do, the time is slow and you're boring. So mm -hmm. I prefer that's those. True. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. All right, hello, let's see who else. Harvin, how are you? Hello, teacher, everything is fine. All right, excellent, excellent, very good. Um, How was your day? I was busy, teacher, but right now, uh, uh, I already take a, a little nap, so. I am fine. Hmm. Okay, good. Naps are good. <laughs> Excellent. Very, very good. Uh, what time do you finish work? At 5? At 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. And you were close to home? Yes, I live so close to my home, my work. Oh, really? Yes, oh, but today I don't have class from the university. Mm -hmm. And this is the reason why right now I am at home and I be relaxed. Ah, okay. Okay. So the the, the times that um, you are not able to connect um, early, it's because you are at the university. Yes. Mm. The rest of okay. the weekend I have class from the university. But today is free. What 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 day? Is, uh, sorry, what what university do you do you study at? I study the Futla hmm. in Santa Tecla. I don't know if you know that. I think I've I think I've seen it on the internet. Okay. It, yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. Um. And what what are you studying? Uh, engineer, industrial engineer. Mm, industrial engineering. Yes. Ah, okay. Wow. And how many how many years have you been studying that? Right now, I am in the half of the, my career. I have mm. two two years and a half. Two years. Yes, oh. and a half. Two and a half years. Oh, that's pretty good. Yes. That's very good. Excellent. Yeah, and you liking it well? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good, good. That's the important thing. You now, when when you actually enjoy what you do, because yes. um, I think it's the worst thing um, to uh, do, you know, do something every day that you hate to do. Like, just imagine, like, I, I, I can only imagine if I hated teaching. <laughs> and you know imagine I have to get up so early um for this class and everything and if I hated teaching oh I don't know what I would do <laughs> that would be like the worst the worst job you know if you you know trying having to get up so early and everything to do something you hate oh no couldn't do that yes yeah. everything is like you says everything is is easier when you enjoy what you do yeah exactly yeah Absolutely. So I'm glad you you do enjoy what you do. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's see who else. Have... Hello, Laura. How are you? Hello, teacher. How was your day? <gasps> Normal. <laughs> yeah. No. But you're 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 good. A typical you well? day. Yes. Ah. Everything well. Everything's well. Yes. Okay. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. And um eh, did what time do you finish work? 
I don't, I don't understand the question. What time do you finish work? Uh, in four and a half. 4.30. 4.30. Ah, okay. Very early. Yes. Uh, it's, it's because it's up for the, the, uh, I, uh, I, in my case, I, I take the bus. It more, more, there, more, I don't know, it's more, more tarde. Later? It's so, more, later is more. No, just, just later. Mm -hmm. Later is most difficult for me. Take the bus. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Why? It's, uh, it's so, uh, it's much, uh, many people try to take the bus in the afternoon. It's so difficult. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. I understand what you're saying. Okay. So you you get off early so that you don't mm -hmm. have to go in during rush hour. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, the buses in El Salvador, well, I think everywhere in the world, it gets really, really bad during rush hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you should, like here the the buses are very, yeah, you know, they they're they're normal the 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 metro as well, but during rush hour, it, it reminds me, it reminds me of El Salvador. <laughs> I can I can oh. feel it. Everybody's just so really really crowded, like they're like sardines in a can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I understand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see who's also here. Um, Heidi, are you there? I'm right here, teacher. How are you? A little bit sad. Really? Why? I came home too late. The birthday boy was already asleep. Sorry, Heidi. I, I, Hello? I don't, I don't know if it was my, my internet, but I couldn't, I couldn't hear you. Nope. Her voice is breaking it, down. Uh -huh. I, I, I came home too late because the birthday boy is sleeping already. Oh. I hear you. Okay. <laughs> well, tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Or you can give us a slice of cake. <laughs> a, virtu a virtual, virtual cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be wonderful. That would be really, really good. During March, we we about 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 three or four times because my two sons got to teach my sister. So we spend eating eating cake almost every weekend. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, for me, uh -huh. for me, it would uh -huh. not be every weekend. It would be every day. <laughs> <laughs> I I cannot resist. I'm I'm really really bad with with um with sweets. So yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's um so. That's good. You at least um, at, at least you'll have a a, a happy March. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hello, David. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Uh, I am. Uh, I need to use some my uh, medical drops for my ears because mm -hmm. I I listen. Uh, I have some difficulties to, to listen, and uh, I need to put uh, uh, five drops in one ear and then wait two hours and put five drops in another ear. <laughs> mm, okay. For one month from now, and uh, and then it's, it's, it's not uh, solving the problem. Is I need to do another thing. I I, I think. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, but but these are like you went to the doctor and that's what he prescribed. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. The doctor okay. that uh, one one uh, six months ago the doctor uh, washed my my ear, but uh, Clean. didn't solve the Cleaned out. He cleaned out your ear. Clean out. Okay, clean out my my ear, mm -hmm. but didn't solve the problem. For that reason, I now I use that 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 drops and. If not solve the problem, I go with a with a specialist as how you how do you, do you sell the doctor is specializing in something like ears? Uh, in English, the, yeah, we say the ear, nose, and throat doctor. Ear, ear and nose doctor. Uh, yeah, e e ears. Ears. Nose. Oh. A throat doctor, or also short ENT. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. The it's, ENT. It's more than in Spanish because in Spanish is otorrino laringo. <laughs> is this uh, in English? Um. Uh, yeah. The thing is. In English, everything is a little bit easier, right? So yes, in English, the, there it does exist. Um, um, auto orthorolingologist, I think orthorolingologist. I think that's how you say it in English. But um, that's not normally used, like um, because people know. The, that uh, that that's just too difficult. So um, that's why they they um, they just shorten it to ear, nose, and throat doctor, or even shorter, ENT. That's ENT. so. That's yeah, yeah. That's so so in the medical world, um, they say ENT, the ENT doctor. Yeah, um, yeah. It's just like for example. Um, um, eh, they say the um, uh, o OBGYN. That's another another um, medical term. OBGYN is el um, uh, el gineco obstetra. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But but they they just shorten it to um, uh, OBGYN. OB the obstetra. And yes. uh, GYN, the the gynecolo, gynecologist. Okay. So yeah, so it's everything is just, uh, yeah, <laughs> just so much easier if you do it that way. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Um. Okay. Great. Great. Um. Let's see who I haven't said hi to. Um. Uh, Jose Marcos, I have have I I haven't said hi to you, have I? No. How I'm are fine. you? How are you today? Hi, hi. Um, calm day. Yeah. It was a calm day. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Good. Uh, good. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. I'm good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Um. So, uh, and apart from being a calm day, um, was it a, a good day at work? Yeah, a good day at work. Yeah. Good day at work or calm day because, uh, I know what I have to do and just do it. It's not like someone is not telling me every day. What I have to do just the, my boss uh, meet with the group once in a week and they and he taught us what to do and we just during the week we now have to do so mm -hmm. uh, they are not pushing constantly every day so mm -hmm. okay. uh, it's it's up uh, us Mm -hmm. If okay. we do the the, the work the, the way we're working yeah. in that part, it's a great environment. 
Hmm, okay. Okay. Good. Good. And that that's good that you don't have that pressure, right? From yeah, yeah. I know that I have pressure, but it's not. Yeah, not that kind of pressure, you know, of mm -hmm. having you know someone on top of you, because that yeah. I I feel I find that 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 um that stress that's just stresses people out, and they do a bad job when they're like mm -hmm. they have like eyes on you all the time, you know. It's, so it's it's better just to know that yes, you are that somebody is checking up on you, but not, you know, on top of you. So that's, that's important. Yeah. Yeah, yeah at the end, at the end, everyone know that it's professional, so. Yeah, exactly. do the job. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's exactly it. Yeah. Hello, Roxana. Hello. Good evening, how are you? Good. It was a okay. weird day because uh, the previous day I was uh, busy, mm -hmm. but today I think that it was an easy day mm -hmm. uh, during the day. But at the end of the of the day, I have a lot, a lot of payment and I receive a lot of uh, things for closing. Mm -hmm. So I was busy at the end of the day. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm glad to know that you were, um, you know, that you were at least, uh, you know, you had lots of things to do at the end of the day. Went by quickly, I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah. The more, the more common uh, is uh have a busy day when I receive payment. Uh, and today it was not a payment day. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But we are in class now and we have audit and requirement. Yeah, requirement uh -huh. Requirement yeah. about that. And that's why uh, we are uh, receiving maybe extra job, but I think that it's okay. It's um, like a change, a little change in our routine. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's good to have a change in routine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, good. Well, I think I've said hi to everybody, if I'm not mistaken. So let's uh, take attendance. Um, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right. Uh, David. Present teacher. Great. Dora. Present. Excellent. Uh, Fernando Ernesto. Fernando Ernesto. Eh, Fernando Marvin. Tampoco. Eh, ninguno de los Fernandos. Francisco. Francisco. Oh. He's just connecting. Hello, teacher. Hello. You're right on time. Safe by the bell. <laughs> okay. Heidi. Present teacher. Excellent. Ileana. Present teacher. Excellent. Harvin. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, Jose Marcos. Present. Okay, excellent. Uh, Jose Osmin. Jose Osmin, no, right? Okay, Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, uh, Juan Miguel. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Ramon Enrique. Uh, Roberto Luis, eh, Roxana Ivet, uh -huh. excellent. William Alexander, present. Excellent. Suley Maybon, eh, Wendy Patricia. Oh, she's connecting right now. 
or her audio, I think. And Wilfredo. Okay. All right, guys. So um, we're going to start. Please tell me. Oh, hello, Wendy. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Right on time. I was just calling your name. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> Present. <laughs> Okay, wonderful. Okay, good. So please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Oh, uh... Hold on, guys. Let me just fix this day. It's on Thursday day. <laughs> okay, so today is the advance number four, day number 22, almost finished, guys. Imagine that, it's just by going by so quickly. The date is Thursday, March 2nd, 2023, and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. So yesterday, uh, we had one more group to listen to that had to present. And if I'm not mistaken, that was Heidi, was it Heidi with, with who? You know what? Let me check who it was. Yes, with Jose Marcos. Heidi with Jose Marca. And he was one of the Jose's. <laughs> okay. So um, are you guys ready? Yes. We're ready. We're ready. Perfect. Okay. Okay, wonderful. Let's uh let's hear it. Oh, just give me a moment. I have it there. Okay, now you can share a screen. Uh, we are not sharing screen. We're just making the dialogue. Oh, okay. Right, Marco. All right, mm -hmm. that works too. Okay. Okay. Good evening, Marco. As you know, some company security breach have been broken. So I need to make you some questions to make sure that that is not going to happen to us. Uh, for example, how regular is the training? Is the training of security best practices related with the spam or suspicious emails? Hello, Heidi. Yeah. Um, we always had to do the training with the new employees and also the old ones. Uh, almost uh, once per, per month. So we always try to, to keep them updated with the new, with the best practices. So for example, if they see a suspicious attachment or a file or a spam in the email, they, they um, we advise them to now open that that email. So it's always important to, to keep them updated with the information. So we try almost um, once per week, per, per month. Sir. Okay. And what kind of tools or filters do we have in order to receive email from unknown or unauthorized domain in our company? Yeah, um, sometimes it happens that the client wants to the client wants to reach or or sales rep, so they need to communicate. So it's important to to keep them. Uh, um, to keep a secure channel to, to solve that communication. So we use Barracuda in order to filter the um, unauthorized domains. So the Barracuda tell us to make a white list. So the authorized domain can send emails to our domain. So that is the, the tool that we have right now in the company. Okay, and which is the spire span for the password in the workstations? Okay, in the workstation, uh, we have a policy um, so <laughs> the, the employees um, 
always have to change password of the, of the workstation uh, once per month. So they cannot have a password for six months or one year. They have to change the password every month. So in that way, we make sure that the password is not that easy to to figure out. So once for, for okay. once. And when, then why, uh, what is the policy about saving passwords in, in workstation? Yeah, saving password is not allowed. It's forbidden and completely so the the employees and every time they log in, they need if I must to they type the password. It's not it's not a low saving password. Okay, and which is the periodicity of the database for backups uh, for saving the company's information? Um, Balance, yes. Mm -hmm. Because of uh, that information is very important, and we always make um, a backup every day because it's very important. And we store that information um, in um, external server with uh, the high security that, that we have. So every day we try to do the backup. And do we have backup for the web application in case of a cyber attack? So we can establish the site uh, quickly working 100%? Yeah, we have some backups. So every time with the development team we release a new feature, we make a backup and we uh, save that, that backup in, in internal server like in the uh, with the backup of the database. So in case of server attacks, we always have the, the uh, capability, capability to, risk, to establish once again, all the web application with the files. So uh, we are prepared in, in case of server attacks. Okay, Marco, thank you very much. I feel okay. much better in safety. Okay, Thank yeah, we much. are not completely prepared for in every case. So, the question. Thanks. Okay. All right. Ready Thank you very much. much. Very, very good. Okay, excellent, guys. All right, so that concludes um, our presentations for that uh, project or for that assignment. Um, okay, so before we continue to the next part, um, I want to uh, be able to share some things that I noticed um, and that we that we can benefit from the correction. Um, okay, so the first word I want to discuss is this one. How do we pronounce that word? Honor? Honor? Honor. So is the H pronounced or is it silent? Silent. Silent. It's silent, yeah. So we we say honor. Honor. Honor, honor. yeah. OK. Um, Okay, the other the other is um, we when we use the verb explain, we always explain to somebody. So we don't say explain me, we say explain to me. Okay, so always remember that. Um, so we never explain somebody, we explain to somebody. Um, and the reason is because if you say explain me, then you're basically saying, um, explain who I am. Yeah, it, it will be like, almost like describe me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, see. Uh, okay. Uh, 
teacher, in that case, we usually use explain to me when we need to understand something. What, what yeah. is the correct form? No, it's it's correct. Yeah, you, you can when you when you want to say, for example, in Spanish, you say, "Explícame tal cosa." Yeah, you can. Then you would say, "Explain to me." Just just make sure that you don't say, "Explain me." You have to say, "Explain oh, to okay. Okay. me." Okay, because okay. if you if you eliminate that "to," then it becomes something like, "Describeme." Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right. How do we pronounce this word? Vulnerability. Vulnerability. Yeah. It's it's a it's a it's a difficult word because it's long, right? But yes, it's vulnerability. 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 Okay. Vulnerability. Yes, vulnerability. So, vul, not vul. Vul, no, it's vul. Va, vulnerability. Uh, uh. Mm, vulnerability. Vulnerability. Okay. <clears throat> and... Okay, I think this was pronunciation. Um, how do you pronounce this word? Domain. 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 Yeah. Domain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Domain. Um, okay. All right. Well, just how do you pronounce this word? Virus. 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 Yeah. So be careful. It's not like in Spanish. It's not virus or virus. It's virus. Vi, virus. So if that's a virus, how do you spell? How do you pronounce this? Antivirus. Yeah, antivirus. Antivirus. Good. Okay. Okay. How do we pronounce this word? Focused. Yeah. Focused. Fo yeah, focused. Focused. Okay, focused. Okay, I know it sounds it's 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 a one of those weird words, but it's fo cust. Fo cust. Focused. Okay. Um, okay, now, uh, sure, I have a question. Yeah. Virus is for singular, yeah? Or for mm -hmm. singular and plural. Or you could use viruses. Viruses, viruses, viruses okay? It's plural. It's not mm -hmm. like in Spanish, virus and virus, yeah? Virus for singular, in Spanish and virus for plural in Spanish too. No, we say viruses. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. In English. Yeah. In English, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, one virus, two viruses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There some um there are words in English that finish in US that change. Um the the change the plural form. But not this word. Um, for example, um, okay, a fungus. You know fungus. Hmm. You know what fungus is. What is fungus? Yes, it's a, an ongo, ongo. Ongo, exactly, ongo. So fungus. Um, so the plural of fungus is fungi. 
Okay, so there are words that finish in U-S that change to an I, but the majority of the words that I've seen like that are more like medical words or things like, yeah, having to do with like biology and, you know, kind of things, things like, that, like that. But this one virus, it definitely is a plural viruses. Okay. Um, what's the other one? Mm, okay. Um, all right. So the 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 um main form of the verb is steal, right? It, what is the uh, simple past? Stole. Stole. And the past participle? Stolen. Stolen. Very Stolen. good. Okay. So. If I want to say, uh, some okay, if I want to say, algunas personas eh, robaron, how would I say that? Some people stole. Some people stole, not stolen, stole. Some people stole because we're, we're using the simple past, right? We would only use stolen if the person if you said some people have stolen okay uh but if you just say if if you just use talking about the past you would say some people stole so just be careful how you use stolen stolen is not the past participle sorry it started stolen is the past participle not the simple past okay um stop me if you guys are confused about something just let me know okay the same thing with this verb here okay how do you pronounce that hide, hide. 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 yeah pa the simple past hide 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 mm. Because hidden is the past participle, right? Right. So first. simple past. Simple past of hide. Okay. Hid. Okay. And you guys already said what the simple past is. Sorry, the past participle is hidden. Okay. So if I'm going to use two. To, to something, what am I going to say? Am I going to use to hide, to hid, or to hidden? To hide. To hide. Why? Who knows it hurts why? better. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. You're absolutely <laughs> right about that. And another reason... Remember, always remember, this is a rule, okay? This is 100% uh, all the time, so you don't have to worry about any exceptions. After to, the verb that comes after is going to be the infinitive form. So there's going to be no change after to. So we would never say to hidden or to hid. It's to hide. Okay. And the same thing if we're using like like um robar, right? You would say to steal, not to stole, not to stolen, to steal. Okay. Okay. All right. Um I think this one. I think this was a, a pronunciation. How do you pronounce this? Isolate. 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 Yeah. Isolate. Isolate. I. Isolate. Not isolate. Isolate, isolate no. Isolate. Isolate. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
I. Okay, so remember, uh, yeah, it's a matter. I think that was a matter of pronunciation. I use I use that word many times because in you are uh, is explaining something about math. You oh, need to yeah. isolate mm -hmm. the y and the x. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. With math, you would use it a lot. Also, well, there's a lot of reason, a lot of different situations you would use that. So it's isolate. Okay. Yes. Um, let me see something else I noticed. Uh oh, okay. So when we we use we okay, tell me what's the problem with that sentence. We was talking? Yeah. It's where we were talking. We were Good. talking. Yeah, yeah we, we were. were talking. We were talking. Remember, because we with we we use were. We were talking. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, and this is the last one I noticed. It's um. If you're saying, for example, if you want to say in Spanish, um, eh, no está correcto. Like when you say, it for is, example, it's... like when you when you say, for example, um, but when you not like that, it's like the difference between um, eh, correcto y, y oh, it's not like you're 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 not correcting a problem, but instead you're saying that it's not an ethical thing to do. If you're talking about an ethic, you, you guys understand ethics. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So if you're talking about something that is not ethical to do and you want to say, no es correcto hacer eso, how it's would you right. say that? It, it isn't right. Good. It's wrong. Yeah. It's exactly. Not right. So you would say, it's not right or or it isn't right. Okay. Uh, and, because you heard it, it's not correct. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. You, um, yeah. We, I, I did hear it's not correct. And if you don't, you use correct, but only if you're talking about like um, it's that math problem maybe. Yeah, a problem uh, that it's that it's either correct or it's it, or it's a wrong answer. But in this case, if you're talking about ethics, you would always say it's it isn't right. It isn't right to do this. Okay, mm. does that make sense? Makes sense. Yes. 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 Okay, wonderful. Any other questions that you guys have about this? I always, I, I, I always doubt in how to use this uh, saying when someone is not sure about something. I heard, if I'm not grown, or sometimes I heard, if I'm not mistaken, and I remember the one is not correct. <laughs> one is not yeah. Can I say correct in this way? Because we are going to. Exactly. Yeah. In that case, yes, you can say it one's not correct because hey, we're not talking about ethics. We're talking uh -huh. about um, like, a, yeah, yeah, exactly. A problem, you know, and yeah. Okay. So in that case, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can say. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that would be the, the correct way to, uh, to okay. say that mm -hmm, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Anything else that you guys want to ask? No? Okay. All right. Well, um, yeah, so those are a little bit of the, of um, uh, what I noticed um, from the um, from your conversations. Okay. So, um, but everything else was really good. I actually enjoyed the conversations. They were very interesting and very informative, you know, some of them were like very, very deep. <laughs> so that's good. Okay, guys. Um, so, uh, there is a topic that we haven't covered yet. Um, and we've or anything just uh wait a moment. Hmm. It's hiding somewhere here. 
Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Please tell me if you guys can see my PowerPoint. Not yet. Now? Yes, we can see it. Yes. Okay. We yeah. can. Okay. Great. So, use the meaning of so before an adjective it, or an adverb. That's what we're going to be looking at today. Okay. So, we use the word so before either an adjective or an adverb um, to say that something like it's that the meaning of so in that case is very similar to very. Okay. Okay, so if, whether we use it whether we use it um, with an adjective or an adverb, what it really means is very. Okay, so for example, this is the, in this use, so emphasizes the quality described by the adjective. Okay, so in this case, we have um, so emphasizing the quality. Okay, example. Cloud computing is so important for businesses. It's the same thing as if I was saying, the very important. Okay, so it's like saying cloud computing is very important for businesses that want to collect and process customers' data. Okay, we're just, all we're doing here is we're emphasizing the quality of being important. So we're not just saying very, it's like because very is like com very commonly used. <laughs> okay, so very just commonly used. So if you just say very important, eh, it's like eh, it it doesn't really feel that important. But if you say so important, then all of a sudden we emphasize the quality of being important. Okay. The same thing with here, uh, letter B. One of the uh, the goals of big data. Um, and analysis is to provide a customer experience so memorable to develop brand loyalty. It's just like we are saying, very memorable. Okay. But again, this is too common, right? To say very memorable, too common. So that's why to make it more emphatic, we use so memorable. Okay. The same thing goes with an adjective, right? Okay. It just like the function of so with an adjective, so plus an adverb emphasizes the meaning of the adverb. Okay. So here we're emphasizing the meaning of the adverb. Okay. So Example, big data is developed so fast that many small companies are not able to keep up with it. Okay, so it's like saying very fast. Okay, but very is too common, so instead we say so fast. Sorry so fast or letter b i can't believe it uh i've just uh downloaded this app from my favorite store and i've already gotten a catalog in less than 10 seconds their marketing team is working so well so instead of saying very well we say so well so it's like saying very well. Okay, but, but 
uh, to make it more emphatic, because very is so common, we use so. Okay, so how, what's a word that we can use in Spanish that means the same, has the same idea as so in these contexts? Done. Done. Exactly. So, tan importante, tan memorable, tan rápido, tan bien. Right? So that's kind of the idea. Pretty simple, guys? Or do you guys have any questions? Uh, so it means, teacher, that it's okay to use very, but it's, it's common to say very. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Very. It, the thing is that very is so common that you don't even um, realize how important it is. So to make it more emphatic, we use the word so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Sure. Any questions about that? No, teacher. No, you sure? Yes, teacher, no question. Okay. All right, so in that case, since there are no questions, um, oh, hold on, give me a moment. Um, just, I know that, that um, you guys have no questions, so just to make sure that you guys understand this better. Um, you know, we have some more examples here. We have um, soap as an adjective to express very or that much. Okay, so Tom seems so happy now. It's the same thing as saying Tom seems very happy now or Tom seems that much happy now. That's another way of saying it. Um, that much actually emphasizes probably a little bit even more, but same idea, okay? So, so it means very or that much, okay? So plus an ad adverb means to express extreme actions. So the teacher was speaking so loudly, okay? So we're saying that it's not like a, it's not just loudly, it's like so loud, it's like extreme, okay? So it's like say extremely loudly, okay? Sounds good? Sounds good, teacher. Yeah, okay, and the last one, says a so plus an adjective or an adverb plus that plus a result. This one is to explain the result. So you're so beautiful that I can't get get I can't get my eyes off of you. Okay. So we are saying here we're not just emphasizing the beauty. We're not just saying, we're not just emphasizing it. So here we have so, right? We're not just saying that you're very beautiful, but we're also sh explaining the result. What's the result of you being so beautiful? Well, the result is that I can't take my eyes off of you. That's the result. So if we want to em emphasize or um, that something is so extreme or you know emphasizing that that adjective that it causes a result then we would use that structure we would use the structure right here i'm sorry okay any questions so far Not the children, no the question. No questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. So in that case, since 
Seems like you guys got it. Let's do the exercise that goes with it. Um, which is this one right here. Says, complete the statements with so plus an adjective or so plus an adverb of your choice. Okay, so this one's going to be interesting because here you have a little bit of um, of liberty, of, of freedom to be able to um, decide what you want to put, right? It depends on what you believe that, um, what you, what, what, um, what idea this conveys to you. Okay, so uh, we have six sentences and I'm gonna get you guys to work in pairs to come up with an idea, okay? So we're probably gonna end up with many different ideas, but that's okay. All right, sounds good, everybody? Sure, did you? Yeah, okay, all right. In that case, um, let me just first make the groups and make sure that you guys are here in the groups that, that you guys um, can participate. Okay, so Wendy. Wendy, are you here? Wendy, Wendy? Let's start Wendy. William? William, are you here? Yes. Okay. Um, Ana Claudia is here too. Jose Osmin. Uh, Okay, wonderful. Yes, I'm here. Great. Okay, good, good, good. Dora. Dora, Dora, Dora. Yes. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. And okay, so just a curious search. Okay. Uh, Fernando Marvin. Fernando Marvin, Fernando. We're here, teacher. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, Juan Miguel. Okay, perfect. All right, so you guys can here, teacher. Perfect. Okay, Jose Wilfredo is here. Eh, Iliana. Eh, I think Iliana's here, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Jose Marcos too. Okay, perfect. David is here. And yes. Harvin. Evans here too. Francisco Eduardo. Can you can you participate, Francisco Eduardo? This is it. I, I try. Okay, okay, good, good. And Roxana. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um Wendy, are you there? Wendy, no response from Wendy. Okay. Okay. And Okay, so I'm going to open up the rooms right now and I'm going to give you seven minutes, no, eight minutes, eight minutes to do this, okay? All right, um, here we go.
Heidi? Hello, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Um, I'm going to assign you right now to a group. Oh, just give me a second. Okay, the, the number one says, and the study have predicted that in the last 10 years, CPUs will activate the processing power of the human brain. We have to complete that. So amazing, so incredible. You are mute, David. Sorry, I, I was talking. Okay. 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 I was uh, say that uh, I mean you so so amazing. That's so amazing. A study has predicted that in less than ten years CPUs will achieve the processing power of fucking array. That's so amazing for me. Okay. What do you think? Yes. Okay. okay. This is, is that's so amazing. It's uh that's so amazing. Okay, the, the next one. Another one study suggests that K manager roles in the company will be carried by computer machine. Key managerial, managerial. How do we say that? Managerial roles. Key managerial roles. Computer side machines. It's so scary, something like that. So scary. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fantastic. That's so awesome. Another study suggests that key man managerial roles in companies will be carried carried by Roxana, give me a, a couple of minutes. I return. Okay. Sure. I'm so good. We can write uh -huh. so good. So cool. Okay. Number yes, three, yeah. big data analysis will be
so important. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So interesting too. So what do you say? So interesting. Yeah. Oh, so important, my heart. Mm -hmm. So important. So important. Um, number four. When you think about how your every show is monitored and put together to create a data picture of you. Uh -huh. So amazing, the new. <gasps> amazing. Because intimidating, something like that. Because when you think about how your every choice is monitored and put together to create a data picture of you, the feeling you get is, <laughs> I, I'm not feeling comfortable. I feel uncomfortable. So and so, I don't know, you tell me. It's not appropriate, it's not, not good at all. Mm -hmm. So overwhelming too, uh, because it's talking about feeling. The feeling you get is when you think about how your every choice is monitored and put together to create a data picture of you. The feeling you get is. Uh, What do you think? What, what do, do you suggest we can use? Mm -hmm. Estaba pensando como inapropiado, in inapropiado. Mm -hmm. in ah, so uh, inapropiado. It could be. Mm -hmm. Yes, working in that way. So inapropiado. Mm, number five. Experts have started to question if the area of the data will make Privacy and also the idea. Mm. That would be Hmm. What do you think? See, I know so. Expert has started to question if the era of the data will make privacy an obsolete idea. Man, that will be. <laughs> And that will be so. Mm. I'm happy. Mm. Sentimiento es, is afraid. Mm. 
so fear for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, number five. Esper have I started to question if the era of big data will make privacy a excellent idea. Uh -huh. Hmm. 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 Yes. Now that would be the question. Like, no, that's right. Is that so? Yeah. I don't know. So So they were staying. No sé cómo yes. Era. Uh -huh. yes. They were staring, sí. So they were staring. Mm -hmm. The number six is so fast. There is no doubt if a business wants to remain competitive, competitive, they need to anticipate their customer preference and needs. Before they change their mind. I think it could be so fast. It's so fast, but it's so quickly. Mm -hmm. So fast. Quickly quit is a uh... Mm -hmm. So fast. Then there is no.
En la cuatro, so unfortunately. Number five, so unfortunately. Unconstable. Ah, so un, un, com, un, un, ¿cómo era? Un, no, un, unconstable. Un, unconstable, ajá. So precise, so creepy, so intrusive, fast. It could be so scary too. So scary. Yeah, it could be. Are you finished, guys? Hi. Yeah, we'll for the game. Okay, wonderful. See you in the main room then. Okay. Okay, guys, so I think everybody is here, is back here already. Um, so we're going to be checking the answers. And remember what I told you guys, there's not just one answer. Um, there could be many, many answers, right? But the important thing is that they make sense, right? Okay, so a study has predicted that in less than 10 years, CPUs will achieve, achieve the process, the processing power of a human brain. That's that's what. So amazing. amazing. So amazing. So amazing. Could be. Yeah. So awesome. So impressive. So amazing. So impressive. So, um. So incredible. incredible. Amazing. Uh, impressive. Incredible. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So there, like I said, many different answers. I mean, there's not just one possibility. Okay. Okay. Good. Another study suggested suggests that key uh, managerial roles in companies will will be carried by computerized machines. It's so scary, teacher. So, so scary. Bad. Yes. So, so scary. Um. Mm, probably not so bad. Probably wouldn't make too much sense. Uh, so risky, could be risky, yeah, risky. So good, <laughs> really, so good. <laughs> we were just trying with uh, Jose. Mm. No, so risky sounds good. Uh, I don't, to be honest, I really don't understand why I wouldn't be able to explain it. I would have to find out the reason. But um, when we're using good and bad, we, we don't normally use it with it. So we don't say it, it's so bad, it's so good. Um, if you are, if you are giving your opinion, um, you would normally say that's 
so bad. That's so good. That's but okay. Uh, yeah, instead of it's. Okay. Okay. But we can say, okay, so it's so scary. It's so risky. What was another one you guys said? For me, it's, for me, it's so sad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's so sad. Okay. All right. So many, many possibilities, not just one. Okay. So worried. It's so worried. Okay. If you're going to use that one, you're going to have to say worry in. Worry. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. Worry. Worry. Okay. That would be the, ad the adjective. Worry. Okay. All right. Big data analysis will be. So in this puzzle. Okay, very good. So in dispensable, indispensable. Anything else? Big data analysis will be so in the next years that it will help in determined the reasons why some medical treatments are effective and in what conditions. Anything else? So precise. Uh, uh, so accurate. That it is saying the precise. So, so precise. Precise, okay. All right, yeah. So. Um, so precise, precise. So accurate. Yeah, good. Okay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Because it's not just one answer. Okay. Good. When you think about how every choice is monitored and put together to create to create a data picture of you, the feeling you get is so disappointed. So dis so what? Disappointed. Okay, make that make that into a, an adjective. Disappoint is a verb. Disappointing. Yes. Good. So dis. Pointing. Mm -hmm. Anything else? So creepy. So creepy, okay. So worrying. Worrying, yes. Anything else? Okay, all right. Experts have started to question if the era of big data will make privacy on obsolete idea. Man, that would be? So freaking out. Uh, so freaky, maybe. So scary? So freaky. Okay. So scary. Uh, intrusive. What? Intrusive. Intrusive. Yeah, intrusive. Okay. Yeah. Intrusive. Okay. All right. Anything else? Dangerous. Sorry. So dangerous. 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 Okay. What did you say? I think it was Dora. So fear. Uh, with I think that this would be um scary. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Scary because fear is is a noun, mm -hmm. right? We and we we can only use it with adjectives or adverbs. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, there's no doubt if a business wants to remain competitive, they need to anticipate their customers' preferences and needs. Mm -hmm. So diligently. So di diligently. Dil diligently. Oh. So diligently. Mm -hmm. So the bus dancing. So what? The bus dancing. Mm. 
I, 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 I'm not sure I understand the word. Um, can you, can you write in the chat? Okay. Oh, devastating. Devastating. Hmm, I'm not sure if that would make sense in the sentence. So devastating. Devastating is like something like uh, catastrophic. So I'm not sure if that would make sense. And so fast. So fast. Mm hmm yeah what else what's another word for fast another word for fast guys another word for fast for fast quickly yeah quickly quickly yeah that would also make sense anything else Please. Sorry? Please. Can you write in the chat? Oh, swift. Okay, yes except that we would have to say so swiftly because we would we would need to um we need to uh what's it called um use an adverb mm -hmm. okay all right very good guys that's like i said not the only answers, but those are pretty good answers that you guys have there. Okay. Any questions so far on this topic? No? Okay. Perfect. How, how can we have an idea of uh, adverbs and adjectives? Uh, we need to know all of them, or there are some guys that we can use to identify? Mm. To identify what exactly? Like when to use yeah. an adjective and when to use an adverb? See, something like that, yes. Um, okay, you, an adverb, what it does is that it gives me information about a verb or an adjective, okay? So, a, for example, they in the last one says they need to participate, sorry, sorry, to anticipate their customers' preferences and needs. We have here an adjective, sorry, an, a verb, right? We need to anticipate. And how are we going to anticipate it? We can anticipate it diligently, fast, quickly, or swiftly. Okay, so um, that's what, so remember, that's what we are, so basically, if we're going to be describing a verb, how something is done, or an adjective, right, then we're going to use an adverb, but if we're going to describe a noun, we're going to be using an adverb, sorry, sorry, an adjective, an adjective. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if we're, we say, um, um, the feeling you get is, look at the number four, the feeling you get is so disappointing, so creepy, so worrying, et cetera, et cetera. Here we're using an adjective. Why? Because we're describing the feeling. The feeling is the noun. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else you guys want to ask about? Hmm. 
No? Okay. okay. All right. So that's that. Let's uh oh, let's see races. Okay. All right. Um so let's go on to the next part. Okay. So let's uh, talk a little bit about um well, let's talk about here uh these these questions here name two ways in which technology has trans transformed the processes at your workplace okay don't don't tell me right now we're going to be discussing in groups so you're going to name two ways also make two predictions on how technology will continue to reshape the operations of your company. Do you guys understand reshape? Like modify. Modify, yes, exactly. Whenever you have the word re at the beginning, it means to do again. So reshape means to shape again, right? So in other words, modify, right? We're going, we have something already done and we're going to change it. We're going to modify it. Um, also, are cyber security and cyber crimes concerns in your company? Would you agree that C that ICT will improve the customer experience your company provides? Do we understand these questions and these um, uh, these instructions? Is it pretty clear? Yes. No. Yes, sure. Would you send them in the chat? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so okay. we're going to first, um, I will make the groups. We're going to have small groups, not big groups, but I will change it because you guys, most of you were working in pairs. So um, I'll, I'll get you to work in groups of three or four. Most of the threes. Um, Okay. Wendy, are you are you there? Wendy? No, I'm still not okay. No signs of Wendy yet. Okay. Um all right. Oh, so was mean, are you there? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um Okay, guys, so I'm going to open up the groups. Uh you have about ten minutes to discuss the questions. Okay, here we go. Heidi? Heidi? You there? Yes. 
Anyways, mm -hmm, technology. Transform the process. For example, many years ago, I worked for Claro. For, and for example, many years ago, you can't, you, like the only way to pay uh, the, how do you say facturas in English? Bills. Or right. the bills um, was in a, directly in an agency. But now with technology and internet of, of things, mm -hmm. Uh, you can pay your bills online and yep. also you can like attach your bills as uh, your credit card for example and you have you don't have to worry about pay every month the payment is just out, 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 automatic 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 oh, yeah, yes. thank you. and automatic. it's agency Agency, okay. Yeah, agency. I said agency word. Yeah. Okay, yeah. agency. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's, I think that is a way that how technology transform one of the processes process at my workplace and another could be um, I don't know. Now you can sign some kind of, of of documents uh, through a uh, digital sign. So it's not necessary that you have to sign uh, like your physic sign. So because the process now is better, you can do that. And you can save um, for the company that, that you can introduce that to save some money in the way of the we don't we don't have to use a lot of software development so uh, at the beginning when i started working with that company uh, before i started uh, working with that company uh, they told me that they work in a physical place so they uh office in the power so it's not that well I they technology change my job, but it's kind of, you know, because right now if if we're not for the, the technology, I have to go and work in, in that place. So technology um give me the possibility to to work from home and connect to the virtual machine and, and, and that virtual machine I can develop software. For other uh, people, um, and that server change the process uh, of their their work. But in my case, is for me is that the technology change the process uh, of, of software development because I have to I have not to go in one place and connect. And, but I had to just connect my, my house to a remote desktop and I start um, my shift. So for me, in that way, it really changed my um, <clears throat> process. The way, the way that you, that you work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. How, how of is the best? Yeah. Okay, number two, make two predictions of how technology will continue to resh reshape the operation of your company. Uh, in my case, in my job, um, I work with, you know, I work with technology. So yeah. my job extends, extends to technology, but uh, text, technology, it's changed every day. So some process in my in my job uh, in the future and by the way it's a goal for this year. Uh, we need to convert some process to some automatic process. Okay. So it's 
it's that so in the future i i think that in the future a lot of process it can be automatic in my job that's related to technology so in 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 other jobs too okay what do you think okay. in, in my case um always related with the power development i think the two prediction could be uh, the company the future will uh, get more customers more opportunity of software development with technology because and the companies that small business or many business many times business uh, they always need to improve their, their process so uh, they um, need to make a digital um, transformation so the for example the process of selling their product they need a software web application so in my case in from our company will increase the opportunity of customer and uh, another prediction to be a system and they implemented also HR resources because we are not at the office. And nowadays, for example, if you request like a salary letter or something like that, uh, in the past, it was impossible to think they would be sending this to your email. But now due to the way how we are working in general in the company, so they are... Uh, they say that is because of the environment and blah, blah, blah. But I think the way how this uh, era of technology is reshaping the way uh, or how my company uh, is developing is that they are opening more positions for new hires to work from home. And also they are reducing the usage of paperwork in, in yes. my office. You don't need to sign the paper? No. They no. just send it to your email. Mm -hmm. And they put the money in your bank account? Bank account, exactly. Yeah, okay. Exactly. And also, if you request the a, a payroll, a salary letter, or Fondo Social para la Vivienda letter, they send it to your email. No, that is the only one you need to pick up. But if you need the one for the annual rent, the annual taxes, like yes. for me, they send it to your email. In the past, you need to sign up, let them know and acknowledging that you're receiving this and this. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, much better. Okay. I was saying that in the second, we can add eliminate human process in the future. Okay, okay.
No, I guess that they have enough uh, right now. They have enough technology. <laughs> yeah. Because work from home is you can do whatever what you want. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what else could improve for the next year. Believe me, they will find something new. Yeah. Maybe it's the, the area because I guess that in my uh, work, they don't have a enough uh, options to, to improve because most of them are already improved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? Are cyber shorting shorting or to shorten. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I think we all got concerned. I, uh, two years ago, I remember that we received a lot of information about the one virus with the name wanna cry. I don't know why they call it like that, but it's the virus that affect your computer and take your the control of your computer and doesn't alone do anything. And then if you click on that on one link that was inside of the mail, they uh, took the control. Uh, they take the control of your computer and then you receive an email that you have to pay whatever amount of money to recover your your information. So in this case, if the company uh, will be affected for that virus, I guess that they will require a lot of money to to release the the completely information. All right, guys, were you able to finish the discussion or do you need more time? We couldn't discuss the last question. Would you okay. agree that I see you left that? Okay, so maybe tomorrow I'll give you about five more minutes to work in your group. Okay, all right, so let's just finish off with the attendance. Ana Claudia? Present, teacher. Good. Um, David? Present teacher. Dora? Present. Fernando Ernesto? Fernando Ernesto? No. Okay. Uh, Fernando Marvin? Present. Uh, Francisco? Present. Heidi? Present teacher. Juliana? Present teacher. Harvin? Present teacher. Jose Marcos. Present. Eh, Jose Osmin. Present teacher. Okay. Um, are you able to turn on your camera, Jose Osmin? Yes. Ah, oh, there you are. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Um, Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. Juan Miguel. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Great. All right. Uh, Ramon? 
Ramón Enrique. Roberto Luis. Roxana. William. William. No está William. Pero verdad que estuvo en la clase. Yes. Okay, so he just disconnected. Suleima, Wendy, Wendy, and Wilfredo. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. Um, uh, we will continue this tomorrow, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I hope you have a, a wonderful evening. Good night. Okay. Good night, guys. Good night, Good night, Good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, bye. bye to all of you. Francisco Eduardo. Any questions? I guess they have. Wendy, do you have any questions? Wendy?